If you're black and you got black hair, you need to stop air drying right now. And now I have definitive scientific proof as to why you need to stop doing it. And for those of you who aren't familiar, what does air drying mean? It means putting the products in your hair, leaving it wet to dry naturally without using any type of intervention. And I have been telling this for years to stop air drying your hair. The reason why your hair is dry and brittle, it's breaking, is because you're air drying it and you should be using heat instead. And all of y'all came for me. You came for me. Even hairstyles were like, where's your proof? I got your proof. I got your proof. I got your proof. So this was the study that I referenced um, about why we should stop air drying our hair. And basically what researchers found was that hair that was air dried had more damage to the cell membrane complex, which is basically the keratins or the bonds that keep our layers intact versus hair that was um, dried with heat. So this is just a photo of what they found and you can see it here. The cell membrane complex was preserved with no signs of damage in the control of all hair drier groups versus the naturally dried adult, uh, exhibited the bulging that is a sign of damage. So when I talked about this, a lot of black women came at me and was like, yeah, but the study was done in Korea and it was done on, done on Caucasian hair. Our hair is different. And I said, you're absolutely right. Our hair is different in that our hair is more delicate. Our hair gets drier and breaks off more easily. So if there was damage to Caucasian hair, just imagine what kind of damage was shown to our hair. But some of y'all weren't buying it. And now there is some more research done on how our hair is different. Now this is just one small study and more needs to be done, but it's explaining how our hair, Afro textured hair, is different in that our lipid distribution where Asians have the most for African hair. Ours is, here it is right there, it is um, highly disordered, which can explain its differentiation from Asian and Caucasian hair concerning moisturization and swelling when wet. And this is another study done now. This was done using UV on our hair, on all different textures of hair. And again, it showed that African hair had the most severe damage. And that again is because we have the least amount of lipids or disordered, however you want to explain it. Our lipid distribution is less than Asian and Caucasian hair. What are lipids and why they're so important? So basically they are the made of essential fatty acids and they sit on top of our hair and they're part of the cuticle, but they're also lipids in our hair. And that is what keeps our hair hydrophobic, meaning repelling water. Because when our hair is wet, it is in a weak state. Our hair is weaker. So our hair naturally does not want to be wet. So if you're putting your hair in a state that it naturally doesn't want to be in, what do you think is going to happen? So I hope this gives you a little bit more science behind why you should ditch air drying and invest in a good hooded hair dryer. I promise it is worth it.